Hey guys, and welcome back to another morning cleaning routine. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different than anything I've ever done here on my channel. I've been talking a lot about Fly Lady, and so I wanted to do a video devoted to my morning routine with Fly Lady. So today I'm gonna to be focusing on everything that I do in the mornings with the cleaning system Fly Lady, and you can follow along at flylady.net. So I always start off with some caffeine. I always drink at least one to two cups of coffee a day. And this is my new favorite creamer. It's the Cinnamon Dolce and it's super yummy. It is from the Starbucks brand and I've been really enjoying it lately. Let me know in the comments if you have ever tried that creamer. And then I just head over to my laptop and I have flylady.net open on my screen and I just look at today's flight plan which is basically just what the day holds for me so it's kind of like a to-do list for the morning routine and then a few items to do after that so I will get started with my day once I sip a little bit more coffee and I wanted to mention that today's video is a collab with Kristen from Kristen's chaotic life and if you haven't ever checked out her channel you should definitely go check out her video from today she is gonna be doing the night time routine from fly lady and I cannot wait to watch it she is from Oregon has five kiddos and she posts lots of cool mom content and cleaning content over on her channel her video and channel will be linked in the description box so one of the main things on the morning list for the morning routine is just making the bed so I do this every day I try my best to do this every day at least and then a load a day keeps the chaos away is fly ladies little saying about laundry so I always start off with um, or as soon as I make my bed I go ahead and take the laundry that is dirty and just throw it in and start a new load. So next up on the fly lady routine is getting dressed all the way to shoes. So I've read fly lady's book recently and she talks for a while in it about how important it is to get dressed and how it just changes your mentality for the day and putting your shoes on is such an important thing. Especially as a stay at home mom, it's easy to just stay barefoot all day. I'm definitely um, someone who loves to be barefoot. But putting the shoes on every day is just a way to signal to yourself that it's time to get work done. And then you're always ready to run out of the house and there's no excuses. So now I'm just gonna be washing my face, which is one of the things on her list. Um, getting your face done, which would be, if you don't wear makeup, then just washing your face. And if you do wear makeup, then going ahead and just getting all your makeup on for the day. Always make sure to put my Pump It Up Maggie mascara on each day so that it helps my lashes to grow. It has castor oil in it and so it helps my lashes grow longer if I put that on every single day. So now I'm going to be heading downstairs and seeing what the kiddos are up to which means it's going to be kind of a mess. And then I'm going to be heading into the bathroom and taking my Lysol wipes. And this is something that Fly Lady talks about, which is swish and swipe, which just means to basically wipe down your sink and countertop real quick each day. And if you do it each day, it won't um, have like a buildup or it won't take a lot of effort to clean it. And then same with the toilet. So just like wipe it down really quick and then just grab the toilet cleaner and swish it around real quick. It doesn't have to be like a deep cleaning. 
So the whole idea is to just keep up on it each day and that way you don't ever have like a lot of dirt buildup that you need to scrub. I've even read some stuff from Fly Lady where she talks about how you don't even need to be using toilet cleaner. You could use any soap that you have on hand. So you could use like little toiletry bottles from hotels or whatever, just leftover soap. It's soap is soap is what she says. And I kind of agree with her. It doesn't have to be so intense with the Lysol and all that stuff. So anyways, now I'm heading in to the kitchen making some oatmeal. I checked the dishwasher, but it was already emptied this morning. And so now I'm going over to my calendar and just starting a new week. This is one of my favorite calendars that we've ever have. It has um, a space for each member of the family and then YouTube and Instagram, and it has the days of the week on the side. So one of the things on Fly Lady's to-do list is to check to see what's for dinner. So I love thinking about this in the morning. Like as I'm eating breakfast, I'm already thinking about what I'm going to make for dinner. So I'm just heading out into the garage and I'm going to be getting some stuff from my outdoor pantry. And we live here in Los Angeles, so we don't have a ton of space. So I keep a lot of our canned goods outside in the garage. So I'm going to be placing this little liner that I use for the slow cooker and getting some spray on there. And then I'm just going to be putting in my cheese tortellini with meat sauce, which if you have never tried this or seen my video on it, I'll make sure and have it linked below in the description box. It's a good one. It's super fast, super easy, and my family absolutely loves it. Next up on the list is to drink your water, which this is something that I always forget to do unless I'm looking at my to-do list for Fly Lady. And it's just so important for us to be taking care of ourselves and not just to be caffeinating ourselves, but to be hydrating ourselves. So now I'm gonna be just putting stuff away in the dishwasher. And now I'm gonna be spraying down our table and the countertops. And last but not least, I'm going to be brushing my teeth, yes, in the kitchen. I know it's really weird, but as a mom, I just think that it's easier because we have a two-story. It's just easier to brush my teeth downstairs instead of running upstairs and having to take the kids with me. So I hope today's video was helpful for you in going through the Fly Lady system. Um, I get a lot of questions on it, so I'm hoping that today's video will be a little bit helpful in answering some of those. Please feel free to ask any questions down in the comments section. I would love to chat with you down there. And thanks for watching another video with me, and I will see you in my next one.